And on this somber holiday, we all remember those who lost their life in the line of duty. A Wisconsin World War II veteran still has vivid memories more than seven decades after he served. Sean Gallagher with his story, new on Live at Five. This is uh, the helmet that I, I wore. It's been some time since 95-year-old Gene Schultz donned this three and a half pound helmet, but it's nothing compared to the burden he continues to bear from fighting in World War II. I can hardly say it today. Schultz was in General Patton's Third Army, witnessing some of the worst atrocities in global history. I am an eyewitness to the very first Nazi concentration camp that was discovered. The smell was so horrible, the smell of decaying flesh. And it's amazing when I tell this story. I, that was in my nostrils. I could smell that for at least three months, constantly. Even some 75 years later, he remembers all of the lives lost, so Memorial Day is special for him. It's, it's just an honor for me to be able to do this and remember my buddies. One of those buddies was his colonel, who helped save a cathedral in France from being destroyed. The colonel later died in the war, and it took Gene years to grieve the loss. But finally, he went to go see the grave in France in the 90s. And so this is a closure to me, and so that is what Memorial Day means to me. A very personal thing. Gene continues to tell the stories of what he saw and the heroes who were killed. As glad as he is to hear the thank yous for his service, he says the true tribute is not letting his stories die. I think it's important for me to to tell the story as long as I'm here. In Wauwatosa, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.